in this period of time, which by the way is April 1st to 7th, the first week of April. Yikes, did I not say that? Maybe we need to like grab this little clip and take it and put it in the front, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan, he's such magical. Yes, April 1st to 7th is the sales we're going over. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Every Closet. My name is Stephanie, and along with my partner, Ethan, we are two full-time resellers of used clothing on Poshmark and eBay. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit subscribe. In today's video, we're just gonna jump right into it. It's a what sold video for the first week of April. I'm going to go over all of our sales for the first week of April, but leave me down in the comments. I've been toying with the idea of just doing highlights or like sales that go over $50 or maybe sales only sales of items I sourced, or maybe only only sales that I think are notable, like lower than I thought, or good solid flips. So let me know in the comments down below if you, there's like a format of highlights you would like to see, because I've been noticing all of our YouTube videos are long AF. We're gonna do, go through all the sales for the week today, because I think that there's not actually that many, so it shouldn't take too long, I hope. I'm gonna eat those words. Let's start with the U.S. closet. So, the first thing we sold in the U.S. closet were these Missoni Wide Leg Pink and Blue Space Dye Viscose Flare High-Waisted Pants. That is how I wrote that title. They're like a classic Missoni Space Dye pant. Um, we got them at a consignment store for $20. They sold for $75 on the U.S. closet. So we made a large profit on that. I'm not gonna click into it. We're gonna do this quickly. Um, a profit that was over $30 Canadian, and I'm really happy about that. Probably over 40. Definitely over 40. Okay, moving on. Next is a guest black cropped sleeve and length. <laughs> cropped sleeve and length. That's not a good title. Don't do that. Um, it sold for $17 in the US closet, giving us around 15 Canadian in earnings. And we'll be splitting that with our consignment client who gives us all the guest stuff. Next was a Disney Frozen Anna and Elsa dress in, with a purple tulle skirt in a size girls 4 to 5T. This came to us, you know, either definitely either free or from a $10 bag. It sold for 10 US dollars by itself, so we would have made around an 8 Canadian dollar profit off that, which is fantastic. Um, next was a new without tags, seriously, like this thing had never been used. Coach Harley Hobo Bag in Geometric Color Block Slate and Midnight Blue. This was my favorite one out of all the um, coach purchases that we were given. Yes, even the purple one because it was duo-toned and I love that. Um, it was gorgeous and the Harley Hobo Bag, we got a few of them and almost all of them have sold now. Um, it is a reasonable bolo if you do find it thrifting, the Harley Ho Hobo Bag. It's like modern coach, hence it's like worth more um it sold for 150 us dollars so we made around 130 or 40 canadian dollars in profit off of that and we will be splitting that with our consignment client the one who gave us all the coach stuff there we got some good consignment clients next we have a spider fleece ear flap tassel snowflake beanie in a one size this sold for 14 US dollars, which was awesome. It was a, like a substantial toque and it was spider brand. So I thought that was right on par for what I was expecting for it. Uh, 14 US, so we made around 12 Canadian dollars from that, maybe 13. That actually was a donation from my cousins um, back in the winter. So it's interesting that toques are so, like we've had that since definitely well before fall started and it sold at the beginning of spring, so. Just goes to show, seasonal shopping, not always necessary. But um, yeah, that was a do very generous donation from my cousins. I love my cousins. They give us so much cool clothes. Thank you guys so much. Oh, and, or it could have been my aunt, and I love her equally, and she gives us equally cool clothes. So yes. Next, uh, we have a new tags lol. I think you say it just lol, but it could be lole. Step up leggings in light purple with pockets. So these were new at Hags Lol. That's why we picked them up at the consignment store for $15. Um, the tag says they're like $100 or something like that. Um, impressive. I would not pay that. 
But someone did pay us 41 US dollars, giving us around 38 or so Canadian dollars, and then minusing that from the print, it's like a 23-ish dollar profit, which is great. Next was a pink faux fur flap purse with straps for a handbag or shoulder bag with multiple pockets. This sold for $19. This wasn't like branded anything. I think the brand was Charming Charlie's, which is like a low-end accessories mall brand here in the Lower Mainland. So not, um, not a bolo. <laughs> But it was a cute purse, right? So um, that sold for 19 US dollars, giving us around 17 Canadian or so, um, which we'll be splitting with one of our consignment clients. Next was a very tiny sale, a garage gray lounge short shorts, drawstring waist in a size small. They sold for six US dollars. I'm pretty sure that gives us like one or two US dollars from that, maybe two, given that the US closet does less in fees. Um, so yeah, a few dollars from that would have been from a $10 bag. Um, honestly, probably not worth it after you account for like the fact that we have to pay a dollar per package cross-border shipping and packaging and supplies and time. Just honestly, that thus wasn't worth it to list for us. So a bit of a fail there, but I am happy it's gone and might as well sell it versus donating it. It's the same effect, but we already took photos, you know? Next was a Nike black and white trim, full zip, lightweight, hooded jacket in a women's medium. This sold for 21 US dollars, which was a nice surprise for me. We got this in a $10 bag and it, yeah, $21. So we would have made around 18, 19 Canadian dollars off of that, which is fantastic for a $10 bag item. Next is a bundle. I will click into it. Um, oh yes, of all things that I got either for free or from $10 bags, so it was a pair of American Eagle Outfitters Next Level Stretch Skinny Jeans in a size 8, so skinny jeans can still sell, and the brand was M4EO, never heard of it, not a bolo, gray floral pullover sweatshirt in a size small, and a George, as in the one sold at Walmart, ruffle neck purple heathered t-shirt, um, in a size medium. This bundle sold all together for $33. I would consider like almost all of that cost the American Eagle jeans. When she added the other two things to the bundle, I was like, yeah, whatever, just take them, please. <laughs> so <laughs> $33 US dollars giving us $24.68 in US dollars, which is around like $28 Canadian, which is awesome because we didn't source any of those items using money or well, using more than Ten dollars for thirty items. Next was a Lululemon Om and On. I think that's a very um, clever name. <laughs> Long sleeve midi dress in Sandlot, size large, from 2020. And I put 2020 in the title because if something's recent Lulu, you got to put that in the title. And this, yeah, size large. That's fantastic. This sold for 55 US dollars, giving us. I'll click into it. It's a short video. 44 US dollars, which is around 50 Canadian. And we paid 20 for that at a consignment store a while back. So that would be a $30 profit, which I'm very happy about. Um, next awesome sale was a new tags, Ted Baker, Navy blue seed stitch cardigan in a men's size three. So around a men's medium to large. And that sold for 85 US dollars, giving us 68 US dollars in our earnings. And we bought that for $20 at a consignment store. So 68 US in our earnings, probably around 80 Canadian minus the 20. There we got $60 profit. Nice. I love it. Next was a Vestal Metca 01. Ugh. Metronome silver white acetate chronograph watch. Uh, I said it was unisex. I think it was. <laughs> anyway, it sold for 47 US dollars. It had a dead battery, but I just disclosed that. Um, sold for 47 US dollars, giving us 37 US dollars, um, which we will split with our consignment client who gave us all the jewelry and watches. Next was a new Ateg Splendid Super Soft French Terry Black Romper V neck drawstring shorts in an extra large. Wow. So I don't source Splendid pretty much ever, but because it was new with tags, 
because the tag said it was worth a hundred and something dollars because it was extra large and because it was a romper all those things combined yes i will source splendid if all of those things line up nicely so this actually only cost us like 15 dollars at a consignment store and it sold for 60 us dollars giving us a profit you know math let's not sit here and do math next was a sherry hill pink fit fit and flare floral dress in a size two um sherry hill dresses are actually like have a reasonable high comps on posh which surprised me but i came across it in the consignment store and when i'm there i basically look up everything so i looked up sherry hill um comps and they were all over a hundred dollars and so i thought okay and we bought it uh for i think forty dollars at the consignment store it sold for 147 us dollars giving us 117 us dollars in our take home or right around um 117 i don't know 135 one, 135 or so canadian so giving us around like a 90 dollar profit which was amazing so if you see sherry hill probably pick it up next tiny tiny sale an h&m divided black sleeveless crop top fair enough that this only sold for seven dollars um it gave us around like three or four dollars in us dollars so it was just worth it but only barely only just barely uh and yeah we didn't source that it would have been ten dollar bag or free or something next was a lululemon black scoop nut solid t-shirt i couldn't find the exact style but i put up a stock photo of like a regular lululemon it was just literally just a, like a plain black t-shirt from lululemon anyway it sold for 22 dollars giving us around 20 Canadian dollars and we'll be splitting that with our consignment client yay and that was everything that sold on the US closet okay let's do the Canadian closet and then let's go over some fun totals well not like the funnest totals ever but you know they're they're still fun Ooh, the first sale on on Canada this month was fantastic it was an IRO Donna denim ruffle jacket and an oversized fit size 10 this was a fantastic find. We got, I know we got it for $57 at the consignment store. Um, and just like last time, it sold for around 180. So it sold for $175, giving us in our earnings, 138.25. And then, you know, minus 57. So like 80, I don't know, math, math's hard. We're not gonna do that. But yeah, that was fantastic. That was exactly where I thought it would sell. Uh, we listed it at 250. I wanted to sell it around 180. That was, yeah, I got that offer and I was like, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, next was a Calvin Klein men's black dress pants, pin stripe, and a US waist 32. These sold for 25 Canadian dollars, which is fantastic because it would have come from a $10 bag for sure. And quite a while ago too. So. Um, that gives us 1975 in our earnings, and that's mostly all profit, so happy about that. Next was a Coach Black Double Corner Zip Gold Metal Wallet Wristlet. <laughs> I, I couldn't find the style name, so I just described it really thoroughly. Um, but it was a Coach Wristlet Wallet. It sold for $45, giving us... Alright, I'll click it. $35.55. Yes, thirty-five fifty-five for that coach wallet, and we'll be splitting that with again the consignment client who gives us all the coach stuff. Next was a Herschel Supply Company's seventeen hip fanny pack in summer floral. We got this from those ten dollar bags that were so amazing that I made a video about a while ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Ethan, can you pop up the video in the corner? It was six ten dollar bags, and I called them our best ten dollar bags ever. I still stand by that. They're still making us profit. We reached profit a long time ago in those, so this was uh, $19.75 in our earnings because it sold for $25, and that's just pure profit, which makes me very happy. <laughs> Next was a bundle of two dresses. It was a Banana Republic magenta satin ruffle neck uh, mini dress with long sleeves and a size 2, and an RW & Co white tan stripe wrap mini dress in a size small. So this bundle sold for $42, which was fantastic because both of these were $10 bag items. And so we made 20, oh, and I gave a shipping discount, yes. 
So we made $29.22 from that, and we would have paid maybe $2 for those things. So that was pretty cool. Um, good profit there. I like $10 bag items. Next was a pair of, and I'm going to butcher the name, La Jeance. You know La Jeance. You know it. L apostrophe Agence. You get it. Um, <laughs> high rise light wash boot cut jeans in a size 31. Um, we got these at a consignment store. It should say in here. Yeah. $17. Oh, fascinating. They sold for 57 and our take home from that was 41.35. So just over a $20 profit. Um, I expected those to sell for more, but 50 cent, like I'm not mad at it. We made a good profit. Like that was what I wanted. It's, I just, you know, expected a little more, but that's totally good with me still. Next was a Boss Hugo Boss red dotted long sleeve midi dress. This took a while to sell. Oh, I am being phoned. Okay, we're back from our phone call. Um, next, the next thing that sold on Canada was a Boss Hugo Boss red polka dotted long sleeve midi dress in a size large. Um, this sold for $72 on the Canadian closet, giving us $56.88, and we paid $20 for this at a consignment store, so we made a $36.88 profit, which is awesome. Boss Hugo Boss is hard to find stock photos for, which hurts the item's sell-through rate. So we held on to that for a while, but it made a good profit when we sold it, so it's fine. Um, next was an Eddie Bauer Black Capri Cargo Hiking Pants. Uh, in a size 10. I, wow, this is rare, but I don't remember where we got these. I'll quick and do it. Okay, these were a $10 bag item. That's what I thought. Um, yes, so that was, so they sold for $22, which was great. Um, we made $13.35, so I guess we did a shipping discount. Yes, we did. Um, and yeah, from a $10 bag item, that's amazing. Um, I probably almost kept those for myself, which is why I got a bit confused about where they were from. They were probably like in my rotating wardrobe. Uh, next was a Lululemon Acadia Nua Tags High Low Flowy Long Sleeve Top in a size 6 black. This sold like right away. I don't even know if we cross-listed it, it sold so quick. Um, it sold for $54.00. And the top retailed for like, I think $64. So I was really happy with that. Giving us $38.98. And we'll be splitting that with the glorious consignment client who gave us that because that is a glorious, glorious thing to be able to put in your closet. Like a recent new Tags Lululemon long sleeve top. That's fantastic. Um, next was a Guess Emerald Green puffy sleeve t-shirt. I tagged it Y2K. I kind of think it was. In a size large, but like guess large, so like medium. Uh, this sold for $12, giving us a with a shipping discount. So we made $3.89 off of that, which is fine because we got it for free or from a $10 bag. Um, but a very long time ago, that shirt always had a lot of likes, but never any buyers. So I'm happy it's gone. Um, next was a new Tags Coach Poppy Signature. That's where the title ends on my screen. Signature Sateen Metallic Double Zip Wristlet. Aha. Um, this sold for $35, is giving us $27.65, and that we will be splitting with one of our consignment clients. That was Arca. Next was a really small sale, a Casual Man. That was the brand. Oh, Arca, sweetheart. No, no, no. A casual man's blue button-down t-shirt in a size 3X. This sold for $10, which would have given us around 4 or 5 Canadian dollars in profit. Oh, and then we sold the other Eddie Bauer, the same, yeah, the Eddie Bauer khaki color this time. Capri pants with a vented zipper details in a size 10. Those clearly came from the same $10 bag. Those, these ones sold for $20, giving us around $14 in our profit. Next was a rag and bone denim Santa Cruz button front skirt in a size 30. I got this at a consignment store for I think $15. Yeah, it was $15 at a consignment store. It sold for 50, giving us 40 take home minus 15 is $25 in profit. Fantastic. 
Next we're doing Newit Tags, Michael Michael Kors Botanical Black and White Romper in a size small. This was Newit Tags and the tags said a lot, but yeah, it sat for a very long time and then sold for not so very much. So if I could go back, I wouldn't have picked it up at Value Village's like 40% off dress sale, but we did pay, I think, yeah, we paid $16 for this and it sold for $40. So that gives us thirty-one sixty minus sixteen gives us around a fifteen dollar profit. Absolutely not what I was thinking when I picked it up, but I'm glad you still got a profit, and I wouldn't probably pick it up again. Uh, next was a triple five sole gray zip front hoodie in a men's small. Um, triple five sole keeps selling for us when we get it in ten dollar bags, but I wouldn't source it because it doesn't sell for much. This sold for $18, giving us around $14 in our take home. So I was happy with that for a $10 bag item. Next is an UGG Kulabura Girls Youth Size Kula Short Boots in a size two. I almost didn't list these um, because they were in kind of mad condition, but they sold for $14, um, giving us around $10. And we got those from a $10 bag for sure. Next is a Gymshark Men's Critical Drop Armhole Tank in gray and size large. Um, this sold for $24 and I don't remember exactly where we got it, but if I bought it, it wouldn't have been for more than seven or $8 knowing that it couldn't possibly sell for more than 30 because I think that's what Gymshark charges. So, um, giving us probably around like a 10 to $14 profit. Quick sale though. Next was a the Group Babaton Rocket Pants Mid-Rise Jogger in Shadow Mauve, size small. These sold for $28. I wanted higher, but these were also from $10 bags. So, can't be too mad when you get Babaton pants in $10 bags and then they sell for $28. You just gotta take it. So, there we had like a $22 profit, which is fantastic. Next was an Old Navy Daisy Blue Printed Sheath T-shirt dress. This sold for $11. Fair enough, it's Old Navy. Orca! Okay, he's gone. Uh, this was my sister's, actually, and she decluttered it and gave it to us to sell. And so we made around $5 profit off of that. Thank you! We will take all the $5 bills we can get. Those add up. Next is a Wilfred Black Floral Blue Stier Camisole in a size medium. Um, this came to us from one of our consignment clients. It sold for $20.00 on the Canadian closet, giving us around $16 to split with her. So that wraps up all the sales for the first week of April. So let's do some totaling. I'm gonna pause this and I'll come back with totals. Okay, I'm back and I did math and now I have totals. So in the Canadian closet in the first week of April, April 1st to 7th, we did $589.52. Um, these are in after, these are not in like gross sales. These are after posh fees because why would I care about posh fees? Um, and then on the U.S. closet, we did $634.19 U.S. dollars. So that is $792.73 Canadian dollars, giving us a grand total for the week of $1,382, which is pretty good. It's not bad. It's not good. Great. It's it's good. Um, it's so hard now that we've had March and we've like consistently hit those $2,000 weeks that I'm now I feel like that's our benchmark, and that's a really high benchmark. So I'm very happy with almost $1,400 in one week. That's very good. Um, but yes, I'll be looking to pick that up and see if we can get the rest of the month a little bit higher. Hit around that. I'm really hoping we can hit around the $7,000 mark for the month, but we will see. I'll be pleased with it if it's above six. I will be displeased otherwise, and I will be absolutely flabbergasted if it's above eight again, because that was amazing, and I would like that to keep happening. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, if you learned any new brands, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and otherwise, I will see you guys in our next video, and take care. Goodbye, bye.